what is up youtube today we're talking about the state of the server for cataclysm class now we're gonna look at wow it posts i'm gonna give out my opinion i'm gonna read some opinions and i'm gonna share some idea that i have to improve uh these server when they're gonna come out all right so senior game producer for world of warcraft tom ellis has recently shared blizzard idea on rat classic consolidation ahead of cataclysm classic they're looking for playing feedback and started out with planning an idea that are toying with combining Feralina and Benediction, two high populated server that are both weight 99% in favor of one faction, one horde, one alliance, and almost equal in player size. In, in the very next paragraph, however, Tub notes that there is a real problem in player on those two realms, not necessarily one thing that kind of PvP experience. So the question is, what do player on those server want? I'm gonna quickly mention um, that. I think there's certainly things that need to be done on server because like the problem with Cataclysm is it's very divisive. Not everyone wants to play it. Probably a lot of people that are very not vocal about it are going to play the game. But right now, if you read on the internet, a lot of people don't want to play Cataclysm. That's my first experience that I had with the game. Like in a raid environment and like younger summer vibe, just playing World of Warcraft after school. After also like... That's where I started. I would say <laughs> I was about to say mastering the game, but definitely not a good player. At least at that time, probably still not good as of today. But what what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be able to experience the raid that I've done like almost like 10 years ago. Well, it's probably more than 10 years ago actually, but at the end of the day, that's where it's all begun for me. Berlina and Benediction US are fake PvP realm. They're 99% on one faction each. One horde, one alliance, and almost equals in player size. Uh, we desperately want to clash the two realms together and turn one turn on faction balance. Problem is, a very real number of people established on those realms never really wanted to deal with the reality of balance PvP. And messing with that could cause many of them to leave. You play on these realms. Who do you? What do you think? This would be the spiciest cat PvP realm to ever exist. My thoughts is. I'm a player on this server and I think I'm on the casual player base of I'm not a big PvP handy and I didn't play that much rat. So I'm kind of a starting again because of Cataclysm. Would I love to have a bigger server with a more clash in terms of PvP? Sure, yes. But the thing is, questing in a PvP area when it's 50-50 could get very acted very quickly like if you're not that good or you have a wrong the wrong class at the wrong time it, it could take hours before you can actually quest if you're just getting ganked by other people especially when in six months you're gonna do questing zone that people are not doing right now and you have one level uh 85 uh just shitting on level 60 or 50 or 40 or whatever you know that is going to be a problem. So would would the idea be great? I think for the most people, it could be enjoyable. There's a lot of technicality that I think could backlash on, on player. Like the, the day that we're going to be 85 or not even 85, just 80. And we're all launched in Hyjal or Valshir for Vashir for people that hate their life. Is it going to be like be a pvp madness and like everyone's gonna attack each other and not quest i don't know finally one guaranteed conclusion that we can draw from all these posts is that there will be some kind of realm consolidation it, even if that doesn't include the biggest pvp realm this time around both tom and jo josh confirm in separate replies that some server combining is definitely happening giving player on low population realms a chance to move to active server if you are on a realm that's low pop you'd likely be giving a chance to move someplace more active what are your thoughts on combining already big server into even bigger ones? You play on either Ferlina and Benediction, jump in the reply. Now, first of all, if you're not on those big PvP servers, certainly you'll be able to be merged on other server. I know I personally had character on different server that I transferred for free already uh, in, in Wrath of the Rich King. So that's something that's already, I guess, slowly, progressively uh, done. I think they're going to probably like say a bigger message to encourage or maybe even force you to switch over 
for servers that might not exist anymore. They're, they're certainly consolidating. But if we look at the state of server right now, it's very, very bad. So th that's the state of server right now. So Feralina is the only one that is high. And that's why I'm also there, because I want a high population when I play the game. I don't like to play an MMO and it feels empty. Now, after that, you have Benediction that is medium right now. That's the only other PvP server that he mentioned. The goal is uh, there's going to be server that are going to be merged. And I think if you have like four or five server, it's going to help. Now, I wanted to share an idea. My idea would be fresh server, but not fresh server on release. Uh, there's always been a project, a uh, project of mine, if I would have a bigger community. But I've seen some people do that recently on Cataclysm. Um, on classic wow uh fresh 60 and i know soda poppin did that a long time ago and i actually played on those kind of guild uh with restriction uh they did like 1 to 60 1 to 70 1 to 80 1 to 85 i think uh, i'm not sure they did that but you know that would be an interesting idea of just like fresh servers uh sometimes you know it's community focus but at the same time like if you released it when you have a lag in content, you release, let's say, classic, just classic ones, just nothing special, just open it like fresh, start over, boom. Uh, all the, 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 the raids are available, or maybe you just put a patch to see certain events, because I know there's specific events at, you know, 60 that people want to do, but you could do that for a Burning Crusade server, 1 to 70, right? Like the 1 to 80 uh, with every raid launch uh, so people can enjoy them or you can you know like it's not set in stones but at the same time when people do fresh kind of uh, fresh classic they, they do it for the journey and the raid after so you, you can basically let that let everything open and people are just going to farm then and maybe there's going to be a race maybe it's going to be exciting you know like that's that's the community focus uh server that would be really interesting like even if you launch a server not necessarily on launch because people don't want to be play on launch with 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 fresh server because they want to play with their main so like let's say in six months or one year or whatever three months you you, you could do that uh probably not gonna happen with cataclysm i'm just saying that to be even if it's burning crusade or rat like you could rehash those ones uh from time to time like one or two server because not gonna it's gonna be specifically niche but i think it's a good idea these are my thoughts on server for cataclysm uh mega server mega population call it whatever you like hope you like this video comments what you think about the server merge uh what you'd like to see uh, like and subscribe to see more peace